I am doing a collective makeup haul video. So I've been shopping probably in the last month or so, so it isn't just all one big haul that I purchased in one day. It's been a few little purchases here and there, um, and so let's just get straight into it. I'm going to start off with some products that I picked up from an online forum called Makeup Marketplace. And I picked up three of the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipsticks. So I have got Unicorn Blood, Rose Matter, and Doll Parts. So they're all sort of those neutral kind of colours. Uh, this one here is a really sort of dark brownie red. I used it on a client tutorial so last week, so keep an eye out for that video. I'll be going up shortly. And it just looked amazing. And I just thought that these colours would be really perfect for... Um, my formals and devils and stuff like that coming up as well. So as you know, I just depot um, these type of products uh, onto the back of my hand or onto a spatula, not a spatula, a um, stainless steel, uh, what do you call it? Tray? Yeah. And you, and then I apply it with a lip brush. So nice and sanitary for hygiene reasons. I also picked up um, a couple of the new Astralis Velour Lips uh, shades. So I have got Osaki, Osaki, yes, Osaki, and Phenomenon. So they're both sort of that uh, nude kind of colour. This one is like you know the colour that I've got a thousand colours of already. But I don't know. I like it, and I really like the formula of the Australis Full Loops. I think that they have the, um, made the um, formula better as they've you know released more colours. This particular colour, Phenomenon makes me look like I have no lips, but I topped this one over the top the other day and it just lightened it up a bit, so it looked really, really nice. So I think it'll be good as um, a sort of lightening up colors and um, yeah, maybe doing an ombre lip sort of thing. Yeah, so they're really nice. Picked up a couple more shades of the Maybelline Fit Me um, concealer. So I picked up 30 Cafe and 15 Fair. These are always out of stock, so I was really pleased when I saw them. I think they're a W actually. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to be using those for um, some really nice light highlighting and contouring, so I'm really looking forward to testing these out. I think I might have used this one on myself. I don't know what, no, I don't think I've used either of them yet, so I hopefully maybe tomorrow morning for my bridal client, so I might give them a go on myself and see how they go. So Maybelline's brought out uh, some new products to go with the blush to nudes sort of collection that they've got. So you already know that I have picked up the eyeshadow palette, but I also picked up one of the um, nail polishes. So this is part of the color show, but it's the blush to nudes collection. And this is in crimson flush. So it's that beautiful rosy, mauvey kind of color. And I wore that oh, a couple of weeks ago, might be three weeks ago now. Um, for a wedding and um, they didn't ship or anything like that and I'm constantly you know scrabbling through my kit and pulling stuff out so it didn't ship at all so I was really impressed with that. Now Maybelline has also released probably in the last month or so um, some of the what are they called Master Conceal by Face Studio concealers. I'd heard that these were really really great and so I picked up two of the shades that were in stock in Priceline Oh, when they very first came out and I think that was light medium and medium that I picked up and I tested them out on myself and I was really really happy with the coverage they were great for the under the eyes they didn't crease or anything like that they were great for covering blemishes and stuff and I actually kind of thought it was very very similar to the MAC Pro Longwear which I have in my purse um, in my personal in my professional kit so I Went into Priceline last week and the last, the other three shades that I didn't have were in stock. So I picked them up and I have now popped all of the shades into my professional kit, which I'll be using sort of bit by bit to, with the Pro Longwear that I have got in my kit, um, to phase that out. So the colours that um, are out in the Master Conceals are, oh, the lightest one first, so Fair, 10 Fair, and then 20 Light. 30 light medium, 40 medium, and 50 medium deep. So we've got a beautiful range of colors there. So I'm so, so happy that um, they've bought these out in Australia. And the best thing about them all is that they are in a squeezy tube and in a plastic container as well. So great for popping in my kit. 
Okay, some products that I picked up from Crush Cosmetics online for my professional kit. So the first thing I picked up was the Sleek Contour Kit. Now this is in the deep shade. I particularly picked this up because I've got a couple of quite darker toned uh, bridal clients coming up, one this weekend in particular, and I wanted a sort of contouring colour that was darker than what I actually had in my kit. So this seems to be, I think, will be pretty good. And also that um, highlighting colour will be perfect for the deeper skin tones um, because everything that I do have is just a, turns a bit frosty and ashy on deeper skin tones. So um, I had been actually just using a eyeshadow to um, highlight with, but this is going to be the perfect colour. So so pleased to have this in my kit now to um, add a little bit of extra diversity to my darker skin clients. I also picked up two of the Milani blushes. Now these are the matte blushes. Um, I don't think there's an actual name to them. They're just called Milani Powder Blush. Um, and the first one is in Tea Rose, which is sort of like a light pinky rose kind of colour. It's absolutely beautiful. You can see that beautiful embossing on that is absolutely gorgeous. I don't want to dip into it. And then the other one I got is Romantic Rose as well. So a little bit more of a darker tone to this one and it's that beautiful sort of mauve colour. So they are going to be beautiful additions to my kit. I also grabbed two of the Milani lipsticks. These are beautiful and creamy um, and I picked up sort of more bridal colour so I'm going to depot these and melt them down into little containers to pop into my kit. Uh, so I picked up 26 Mood Cream which is a beautiful nude, nudey pink. And the other one is 25 Naturally Chic, which is a bit more of a darker nudie pink. So it's just that perfect shade for bridal. I went to Target yesterday and I picked up a couple of things from Chi Chi. So the first thing I picked up was the Viva La Diva Cream Lipstick, and this is in the shade Bombshell. Um, every time I come into Target, this is always sold out, so I was really happy when I was there yesterday. And it was in stock. So it's probably the same as every other colour that I have got. It's that nudie movie pink colour that I absolutely love. And I actually, they have this in a lip gloss as well, but my lip gloss, the whole top, like broke on the inside and I couldn't even open it up at all. So I did try and get the um, lip gloss as well yesterday, but um, they were completely out of stock. So I'll just have to keep an eye out for that. And then I also picked up um, the Chi Chi Glitter Eyeliner Set. So this has got... Um, a gold, a bronze, a teal, an emerald, a purple, and sort of a charcoal silvery kind of colour glitter eye eyeliner. So I just thought that, that would be really fun to have um, to, for Halloween coming up. So yeah, keep an eye out for those videos coming up in October. I also picked up, just as backups for my professional kit, um, the Essence Lip Liners. These are so good. They're $2. They are just creamy. They don't tug on the lip line or anything like that. They're just perfect. So I got In The Nude and Satin Mauve. Perfect colours for bridal. And then I also, I've been looking for a matte sort of black eyeliner in a liquid liner sort of pen form. Um, because the one that I do have is the Maybelline Hyper Glossy and it's glossy and I don't like that look. So when I use that, I have to top it with black um, eyeshadow. And it's a pen bum. So I just thought I'd pick up the balm that's Schwing liquid eyeliner, so it's that sort of um, pen nib type form um, and you dip into it so I'm really looking forward to testing that out and seeing how it goes. And the last things that I picked up um, actually arrived in the post this morning so I'm so excited. So these are all for my kit as well. So I picked up um, from the, they're from the online store called myqt.com.au and they basically just have Lots of products from overseas um, and brands that you can't always readily get in Australia. So the first things I picked up were the Sigma Standout Eyes Gel Liners. Uh, I got this in Stunningly Ladylike, which is a really dark brown, and Wicked. So I am probably about three quarters of the way through my gel liners in my professional kit. So I thought I'd grab these while I was online and shopping. Um, to pop into my seconds drawer so that as soon as they're um, dry, if they dry out suddenly or something like that because they're getting towards the end that I've got these ready to go and pop in there so looking forward to testing those out I've heard that they're really good and I picked up some eye bases as well from Sigma this is part of the Dare kit so it 
comes with a um, an eyeshadow base. What do you call it? What are these called? A brush. That's what they call Kate. Mm. Duh. Yeah. So it's got a brush that came with it, so that'll be nice for applying it. I do use it in one of the Sigma round top kabukis actually. So the colours I picked up are Pose and Unveil. Now I am going to have a little gripe about these and it's wasted packaging. When you've got a professional kit, um, you want to have as little amount of packaging as possible because of weight and um, you want to be able to fit in as much as you can. So I don't know whether I'm going to be able to depot these because they've got like the little cap on the top to stop them from drying out. But Pose is sort of like a sort of a deeper brown kind of color. It looks like it's got a bit of shimmer in it, but I hope I am hoping that it's not going to translate to shimmer on the eyelid. And then also Unveil, which in the swatches I kind of thought it was sort of more of a matte kind of um, champagne-y sort of color, but it looks like it's got a bit of shimmer in it. So I'm just going to have to see how that goes as well. So. Yeah. And the final thing that I picked up from my QT is the Lorac Pro 3. I'm so excited to have this and um, I haven't, I've, all I've done is I actually opened up before, took a few photos and stuff and popped them onto Instagram. So I actually um, am hoping to use it this afternoon for one of my Deb Ball trial clients. So um, with all of the Lorac um, Pro palettes, you get a little mini behind the scenes eye primer, really nice primer. I'll just pop that um, into my sort of um, backup pile because I've got a few uh, primers already in my kit and I'm, I have one of those already in one of my personal kits so this whoop, is what the palette looks like so it's that sort of nude kind of color so it's showing you kind of what this palette is going to be about there goes the little piece of stuff so here we go so as with most Lorac products you've got a beautiful big mirror see everything there and then you've got a row of mattes and a row of shimmers. So I'm so excited because this one has a matte black and a matte dark brown. And then some beautiful, look at these beautiful transition colours here. And then a, one little pop of colour sort of there in that amethyst colour. Beautiful, beautiful colours for bridal. And that's pretty much bridal formal is what I do a lot of. So I absolutely love the very first Lorac Pro. Um, I really wasn't that big a fan of the Pro 2 when it came out and for that reason I sold it not that long ago because I just, I never reached for it. And then even the very, f the first Lorac Mega Pro in the um, burgundy packaging, I just never reached for it when I had it and I don't know, it just, it's easier to pack something this size into my kit and because of that I sold that one as well. It was limited edition, it was hard to bring out and do a video on because it was limited edition. So yeah, I, this is totally up my personal alley as well as with my clientele as well. So let me know if you'd like to see me using this on a client for a client tutorial. Um, as with anything that you've seen here today, um, let me know, put comments down in the comments section down below. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this haul and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.